The St. Thomas Aquinas Sports Association has done a fine job in keeping alive the basketball memories of the past. And recently, a new chapter in that storied history was written. The parish hosted the 47th annual Monsignor King Basketball Tournament over the Christmas break. High school teams from St. Edmund Prep, Nazareth, Bedford Academy, St. Mary's, North Babylon, Midwood, Susan E. Wagner, and Transit Tech took part in the competitive four-day schedule. Well, it's great. I don't think enough of the kids today realize the history of not only basketball, but also local high school and local college basketball. So coming here to this tournament that has is rich in history is just a great experience for them. I couldn't just wait to get here. Just an awesome experience just to even play in it, just to be in a gym, a gym that Chris Mullen played in. So it's just an honor to play here. The tournament is named after Monsignor Jeremiah King, a former pastor at St. Thomas Aquinas who played a major role in the parish's expansion including the building of the gymnasium. You know, it's funny, back in the day, this building was called the Madison Square Garden of basketball. So we wanted to keep that tradition alive. I see everybody walk in and even CYO officials come in here and say to me, this used to be the Mecca. So, you know, it sticks in your head after a while. So it gives you a little incentive to do this. The Monsignor King Tournament is easily the premier holiday hoops competition in this area. And it all came back to St. Thomas Aquinas last year. After a 10-year hiatus, the tournament made its return last December. When it started, it was the first high school basketball tournament to be played at a grammar school gymnasium in this country. I had a plan, like a five-year plan to bring it back um, when I took over the, um, the athletic directorship here. My senior Brown and I talked, he wanted us to bring it, bring it back a year earlier. So we brought it back last year, we were very excited. Adding to the historic feel, Four of the eight coaches in this year's field actually played in the tournament when they were in high school. Oh, I played in the tournament back in 1990 and 1991 for Nazareth High School, and we won it. We were lucky enough to win it my, my two years here, and my last year here we won it and we retired what was called the Luke Honda Second Trophy. That meant that our school had won it three years in a row. The motto of this year's tournament was keeping the tradition alive, and a competitive slate of games coupled with the historic feel in the gymnasium did just that. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.